Hey guys, welcome back to Decorating with Barbara. Now I know you're wondering what you're looking at. Well guys, there's been a change. Now after putting some of the accessories that I showed you guys last week back into the space, I felt it was a little too light and airy and it lacked character. So I decided to do something totally different. So what you're seeing here is a more rustic design. And I think I'm really gonna like it much better. So today, in addition to the accessories, I'm going to share with you a couple of painting techniques. Now the first one will be a technique that I used on the bathroom cabinet. And the other technique will be on a project that I'm working on for wall decor now this project guys it is so cool i just i can't wait to share it with you guys but that will be next week and so that brings me to a question do you guys want to see the process that i go through to transform the bathroom or would you rather see the finished product leave me a comment below and let me know what you prefer now lastly, I'm going to leave you guys with a few pics from Hobby Lobby while I was out shopping for inspiration for this bathroom. So now, to the cabinet. Now what you're looking at here is um, where I have painted the edges. And I used a brush on the um, area of the cabinet that's hard to get to with the roller. Now you can either finish this out with a roller or you can finish it out with the brush. And here's the finished um, cabinet. Now what I'm gonna do here is use um, a glaze. And I'm gonna mix it with just a little bit of Hobby Paint from Hobby Lobby. And the color I'm using is Raw Umber. And so next I'm going to mix it with a um, glaze medium and I just have a little bit of the paint in the bowl and you use the same amount if not more glaze to mix it together now I got this glaze from the restore but it is from Sherwin Williams and it retails for about 15 or more so don't forget to go to the restore for your hobby paints now the color looks creamy white but when you mix it with the paint it does not change the color of the paint at all what the glaze does is to help extend the uh, working time of your paint so you just mix it all together and as you can see the brown is coming through And once you have it all mixed, you can go ahead and um, grab just any brush. I think this brush I got from Walmart or Dollar Tree. And you're going to need a wet rag or a sock, so a cotton cloth. So you go ahead and apply the paint and glaze combination. And then you're going to take your wet rag and wipe off the glaze now this part is totally up to you you can wipe off a lot or you can wipe off a little it just depends on the outcome that you're looking for now you can always um, wipe off the paint but if you're just starting out working with glaze I would use a little bit at a time and you can always add to it and if you make a mistake you need to wait for the glaze to dry and glaze takes a little longer to dry than paint but wait for the glaze to dry and then put your base coat back on top and then start the process over again and that's what it looks like. 
Now you're looking at it wet, so you're not getting the true um, color of it. And on camera, it is coming off blue. Okay, so this is another project. Now this board I got from Hobby Lobby from the unfinished wood department and it was $7.50. Okay, so I have already added the cabinet color to the board that cover up some of the orange that you saw in the beginning picture. And I'm also going to use the brown glaze on top of the gray just to tone it down a little bit. And this particular technique, you cannot take off the glaze, so whatever you put on, it has to stay. If you put on too much, then just start the process over with the base coat and then layer it with the uh, layer it back with the glaze. And then you can take a dry brush and blend. Um, the colors just to soften it and this is what it looks like once it's dry and this is the uh, piece that I'm going to use on my project um, wall decor project okay so this piece this is something that I got from Goodwill and I got it for $2.99 and what I'm going to do here is tone down the white if you remember from the first picture the letters were white and I just used the brown glaze to tone it down. Okay guys, I wanna thank you all for watching and I hope you were inspired by something that you saw here today. And I know it's not the full makeover, but it's coming. So don't forget to let me know if you're interested in seeing the process um, of um, remaking the bathroom or if you would just uh, like to wait and see the finished product also don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next Friday have a great weekend everybody